Meanwhile, in a big boost for the Indian Space Program, the Indian Space Research Organization successfully conducted a crucial rocket engine test on Friday, bringing India closer to its mission of sending Indian astronauts to space on an Indian rocket. Our correspondent Siddharth MP says, sends us the latest on what this report means for India. Take a look. That is how it looks like when you burn 200 tons of rocket fuel. All of that fuel was burnt out in just 130 seconds. That's rocketry for you. India conducted a static test fire of a rocket booster that is known as HS-200. In a static fire, the booster is held firmly on a test stand and fired fully while it is held in a stationary position. This is no ordinary feat. This is the world's second largest operational booster of its kind. The test of the HS booster is a part of a larger process. The Indian Space Research Organization calls it human rating. We'll explain it for you. All of India's rockets, the PSLV and GSLV and GSLV Mark III, have only been ferrying satellites to space. Essentially, they are ferrying cargo. But India is working on sending astronauts to space, to the low Earth orbit. The astronauts will stay there in an orbiting capsule, perform in-space experiments and splash down back in Indian waters. So the state-run space agency is working on converting a satellite-carrying rocket into one that can carry astronauts. India's heaviest operational rocket, the GSLV Mark III, has been chosen for this. It's a proven rocket with four successes and in four launches. But that success was while launching satellites. Launching astronauts is far more challenging and sophisticated. So ISRO has to improvise every component of the GSLV Mark III rocket to make it absolutely reliable for carrying astronauts. From the smallest of nuts and bolts and electronics to the largest engines, everything needs an overhaul. Today's booster tests was a success, but one booster alone does not do the job. Every single engine and component on the rocket has to be tested. According to ISRO, the other two engines that go into the astronaut carrying GSLV Mark III rocket are also in the final phase of qualification, including tests with static firing. To start off Gaganyan, ISRO plans to do two unmanned flights of the human-rated GSLV Mark III. This will provide crucial data on how the rocket actually performs in flight. Such information and tests are what helps deliver a flawless rocket to ferry Indian astronauts to space. Daganyan or the Human Spaceflight Program is India's most ambitious spacefaring mission yet. This is not just about national pride and prestige, but it's also a towering example of international cooperation in science and technology. India is working with as many as six countries to ensure the flawless execution of this mission. Russia remains a crucial partner and is providing very important technologies to ensure life support in space and technologies uh, such as the space suit and also astronaut training. In addition to this, we have France that is providing space food and space medicine to ensure that the astronauts are hale and hearty in space. Pre-mission, we will also have wind tunnel testing support being provided by Canada and Romania. And once the mission is launched, we will also have Australia and the European Space Agency providing support in terms of tracking, telemetry and communication to ensure that Indian astronauts are in touch with the ground stations 24-7. Overall, we will have to remember that with every passing test, India is getting closer to this landmark mission known as Gaganyan. From Chennai, this is Siddharth MP, We On World Is One. We On World Is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.